Hi, this is Deepen Gove, Technical Analyst Top Allies Blue. So, in this video, I'll discuss about uh, Bank Nifty. So, here we can see this is a Bank Nifty chart and this is a daily chart. So, now we can see and uh, this was a uh, previous top, right? Uh, this is the higher point. So, after that, they create a new, uh, sorry, it's not a create a new high. Uh, it is retest the previous higher point here. And after that, you can see this was a pin bar out there, right? So they form a pin bar uh, because here we have seen a resistance line, right? Here was a resistance line. So below this resistance line, they form a pin bar here, right? After that, you can see here, uh, let me show you. So after that, here you can see, and here another beer is candle there, right? If you uh, count uh, this candlestick uh, pattern, so you can say like that engulfing pattern, right? So we have seen this. This was the lower point. After breaking this lower point, price is failing now, right? So you can see. So next, you can see the moving average 50. This was a red line. So first, you can see the price just bounced from moving average from that area, and then now you can see in that price, price was running in a range, and you can say like that. Uh, this is a sideway market, right? So after breaking this uh, supporting line, price uh, fell down toward 200 moving average, right? So this was 200 exponential moving average, and from the 200 exponential moving average, price just given a retracement, little more, right? So again, broke down this 200 uh, moving average, so create a new lower low, right? So price is creating lower low, lower high, lower low, lower high, right? After that, price just retraced toward this moving average 200 moving average. Now, question is that uh, we have seen here just a minute. We have seen here a candlestick pattern. Have you seen? Have we got you what candlestick pattern are forming here? If we calculate three candlestick pattern here, yes, this is called evening star. So, if you don't have any idea about the candlestick pattern, you just busy to our uh, allies blue and IQ pay. So here you can see this is a evening star pattern. Uh, they are forming this type of candlestick pattern. So it is called evening star uh, candlestick pattern, right? So here we have seen this pattern are forming below 200 moving average, right? Below 200 moving average. This is called 200 moving average, right? So some here you can see we have seen like a double top pattern, right? This is double top. Uh, here was a neckline, right? Somewhere here was a neckline, right? So some people are say like M pattern. So this is called M pattern or double uh, top pattern, right? So now we can see we have seen a evening star candlestick pattern here, right? So what is the criteria behind that? Uh, when they are forming evening star pattern, so it is a high probability to price fell from that area, right? It's a high probability, remember. Now you can see most of the people are thinking, so here we have seen this type of pattern, so we can go for sell, right? We can go for sell here, right? From this area. Uh, yeah, definitely we can go for sell, but not now. So we confirm that uh, they are forming a candlestick pattern, which is called like a bearish candlestick pattern. So definitely we will go for sell, but uh, at what price we will go for sell, right? So let me find out some support and resistance and our entry point, right? Now you can see here, let me do a little more here. I want to connect PBS uh, support and resistance, right? Now I just connected PBS uh, support and resistance. So here you can see we have seen a resistance here and the support here somewhere and the resistance are here. So I just connected T touches area. So find out the, this support. Now we have seen here they are forming a support, right? So another thing we have seen here is a lower point, right? So that is why again I wanna connect another line here. I just connect another line. When I connect another line, so you can see automatically we have seen some resistant here, resistant and somewhere resistant, resistant, somewhere support like a resistance and support so now we can see we have seen a gap 
in between this area. Here is uh, highest 27, eight, uh, 27,804 and uh, next the low is showing 27,524. So in between area we have seen 300 point difference. So this point are called supporting zone. So in this area we never gonna enter any position in between this area. So remember if you wanna enter for the cell so definitely we'll go for sell below this supporting point not in this area so we have seen uh, a entry point what is our entry point below this uh, to 27524 so we will start selling below this area not above remember right so next you can see another uh, we have seen most recent uh, higher point and lower point. Have you seen? I just connected for this uh, resistant. This was uh, you can see price was fell down and become a support and prices price just has uh, uh, pull up from that area, right? So next you can see they broke this support line, price pull up and price again fell down from that area. So they become a resistant. We have seen support here. And the resistance so we have seen this is called trading range right this is called trading range and then now you can see another thing here uh, so if you see this was most recent uh, recent resistance line have you seen first test second third fourth time they are test to break this level so that is why again i want to draw another horizontal line for find out resistance zone right i connected so you can see now so just a minute right now you can see uh, this is called resistance zone right and uh, this is called supporting zone so if you wanna enter uh, like if you wanna enter for buy so you have to close your position in this area right if they break this area so we will start buying again above this area remember now for the sell we have to wait to break this supporting line so remember once market enter in this area don't try to enter in this uh, take, uh don't try to take any position right here and uh, if they break this level so we'll start selling from that area so this was a large time frame let's check in a small time frame right uh, first we can see this is a four hour chart right so have you seen this is four hour chart they are following the prices like that uh which is called this is called moving average 20 right bounce from 20 moving average bounce from 20 moving average bounce from 20 moving average right so most of the people are thinking price is spelling down so it will go down right so you can enter anywhere so don't do like that you just uh, always find out your nt and exit point and the one thing you always remember you need a trading system right for the trading system there is a three quality so if you want to be a profitable trader you must develop three quality one is trading uh, strategy so what i'm talking about uh, that is called trading strategy another called position sizing you must know the position sizing system how to do the position sizing and the third is psychology you have to control your psychology right so now you can see now this is a four hour start so now you can see this is a 15 minute time frame for your uh nt and exit right so now you can see now in a small time frame in a 15 minute we have seen this is a lower point and creating lower low and the lower high and here again sorry uh, they're getting uh, higher high and higher low higher high and higher low and here is creating higher low so let me connect uh, this point here somewhere here right so i connected more most process area so have you seen i just connected right we have seen this is a supporting line right so that is why i given this is called range so if you want to enter for the cell you just wait to break this level of 27524 right this so once they break this level so start selling from there 
in this area right so now we can see this is called trading zone this is called our trading zone so now if you want to enter for the buy you you must close your position in this area where this is called 28365 so if you want to enter here for the buy keep your sl just below so have you seen this is our resistance line oh sorry supporting line supporting line and if you want to enter for the buy here so you keep your sl just below here and this is called your uh, sl and this is your target sl will be somewhere around 27500 uh, 27600 so you can see 27600 and target will be around 28300 and the 60 so that is your target right so once they break this resistance zone right this is called a resistance zone so i can uh, go for buy again here from this area right so i hope you enjoyed this video if you like this video please like and subscribe thanks for watching